is an unusual local business problem, that it's a local food business um, catering for gourmet foods. Now, the students had the opportunity to test drive this food. Um, they were able to uh, eat while they were uh, working with the business owner, which is a very unusual task and embarrassing for me to watch them eat. Um, and the business owner was very, very brave to do that, but she's got uh, some young children, so she was very comfortable with that process. Hi, I'm Oliver. If there are more delicious, convenient and affordable way to enjoy, um, to enjoy premium, high-class gourmet meals in the comfort of your own home, would you take advantage of this opportunity? The answer is most probably yes. Over the past few weeks, myself, Freddie, Sam, Rahul, Ben and Callum have been challenged with a difficult task of efficiently determining the solution to Natalia's fine establishment Winborne Foods struggles to reach their full market potential. Over the past term, our team, Winborne Foods, have been introduced to the competitiveness and complexities of the food industry and how hard it is to be successful. We have found out how challenging it is to differentiate your brand as well as how critical it is to your market. Our understanding of the business is that Winborne Foods offers gourmet ready-made meals which are prepared by an experienced chef whose experience and skills are applied to make a premium restaurant meal. Inherently, gourmet meals are often associated with a high price tag. However, Natalia's product retails for $12, notably cheaper than competitive, competitive restaurants. Wimborne Foods meals are ready-made and only require three minutes in the microwave. Therefore, they are notably convenient. Currently, the meals are sold through supermarkets like Harris Farm, but a shift to direct to consumer sales is desired as the supermarkets demand a larger percentage of the profit. So the packaging for Wimborne Foods products is indistinguishable to competitors and does not separate the product as a gourmet meal. So Natalia's business has a limited marketing awareness which limits sales and potentials for change. This lack of market awareness prevents Natalia from selling direct to customer, forcing sales to be made through the second party outlets, which takes a large profit, sorry, percentage of the profit away. And we're also going to introduce a feedback program so that um, when people buy the product, they can get some feedback on how well they did. Hi guys, I'm Rahul. I'm going to talk to you guys about some solutions that we've come up with over the past term. Uh, these are the best three that we came up with as a team. Uh, first one was rebranding the product to promote it as a gourmet meal to target an audience who wants restaurant food at home. Uh, secondly, incre increasing brand awareness by actively using social media platforms such as Instagram and Facebook. Also, active tracking and monitoring of social media content and advertisement. And finally, incorporating a post-purchase feedback program, which could be a QR code, which a customer can use to give positive feedback back to Wimbone Foods to improve their gourmet meals. Thank you. All right. Uh, thanks, Rahul. Now, the recommended solution that we chose was to adjust the branding to fit the high quality gourmet style of Wimborne Foods better. This would individualize the brand amongst other ready-made meal companies, which we believe will get way more people talking about it, potentially leading to a higher customer rate. And um, the image displayed here is potentially a new logo for the company. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm gonna talk about how we can offer our assistance to implement our recommended solution. Given our thorough understanding of the problem, we would love the opportunity of running Winborne Foods' social media campaign to create a platform to run experiments for the community. We would pursue this through surveys, such as the adjustment of the branding of Winborne to reveal and educate people on their gourmet status. We also hope to communicate to the customers after purchases by, by delivering emails to gain customer feedback response to keep them interested and satisfied with our services. We find this is the perfect solution for Natalia and Winborne Foods as she is extremely hardworking and busy, and we have the knowledge and understanding of the social media platform. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. 
We have learned the challenges that come with running a business, as well as the rewards that come as, uh, come as a result of hard work. We have gained an in-depth understanding of the complexities of the food and services industry. What the team have recognised is that the real challenge is to gain cut through in a crowded market. Being able to differentiate your business is critical to scale and succeed. We also learnt skills such as design thinking, problem solving and solution design. And one of the most important lessons was always test our assumptions. A big thank you goes to Natalia for allowing us to spend time with her and the business. By the way, I brought a sample home to my stepdad to try, um, who, was a hard, who was hard to impress and he was lucky enough to get one of the meals. He spoke very highly of it and rated it a 10 out of 10. Thank you. Um, firstly, I just wanted to say thanks so much, boys. Like, throughout the whole process, listening to your ideas and also from a young viewpoint was really interesting. Whereas from my age group, we did diff things differently, especially when we started our business 15 years ago in the catering side of things. So to hear your ideas and have the young mind on different marketing solutions was really interesting. Um, I just wanted to say what a great initiative this program is by giving, you know, the young minds an opportunity to problem solve in the adult world. Um, I just think it's great just to have something that's just a little bit more relevant than potentially what people are learning in textbooks. Um, I, I can't stress enough how impressed I was with your um, thinking and just the way you're writing notes and the different ideas that you came up with and different things to what we had thought of as well. Um, and all your feedback, I took notes from our last session and I've implemented already some of the things that you suggested, so thank you, because it's been a really great help for me. Um, so I just wanted to say thanks for letting me be a part of your problem solving, it's been really interesting for me.